Hi, I'm Avi, one of your product specialists here at Simple Practice. Today, we'll be going over your client billing and automation settings. Through the auto generation of billing documents and auto pay, you can take so much of the manual billing work out of your hands. There's no better place to start than in your settings under your billing and services tab. On this page, you'll manage all of your practice-wide billing settings. Be sure to enter in your currency, tax ID or social security number, in addition to your organization MPI, if you happen to have one. Billing is made easy and simple practice through the use of invoices. Invoices are the building blocks of billing within our system. In order for simple practice to know that the client owes you a certain amount, an invoice must be created. For this reason, you can automate the creation of invoices. We highly recommend setting your automatic invoice generation to daily. This means that at the end of each day, if you have an appointment with a client, an invoice will be created showing what the client owes you for that appointment. Your two other options would be to enable monthly invoice generation or manually create your invoices. You also have the ability to control what the invoice says when it's created. On the very top of the invoice, it will display your clinical, practice, and client information, but should you choose not to display the service provided, you can create invoices with a more general line item here. Now, we'll head down to the default billing for new clients. In addition to the automatic creation of invoices, you can tell Simple Practice to automatically create statements and super bills. Statements will show a running client balance over your period of time, and super bills are used for insurance reimbursement. You can automate the creation of these statements and super bills monthly. Once they're created, you can choose if you'd like for your clients to receive them via email. If you send your clients these documents, we recommend sending them as emails with a link to the client portal. This is the most secure and versatile route because our client portal is HIPAA compliant and your clients will be able to view all of their billing documents and intake documents in one place. The settings on this page will be your default settings for all new clients that you create. Of course, you can adjust these for each individual client. To adjust this for an individual client, head to the client page click Edit Details, and then go to the Billing and Insurance tab. Here, you can manage your billing communication with that specific client in the same way that you saw in the very last tab. For example, this client might not have a need for statements and super bills like the rest of your clients. On this page, you can also save client credit cards and enroll clients in AutoPay. This is a feature a lot of our customers love. With AutoPay, if they have a credit card on file, then an invoice will be created overnight and that client will automatically be charged without any additional work on your end. Next, managing sliding scale clients. You can set a default service for a specific client. Every time you have an appointment with this client, it will default to this service at this rate. Now, let's say you wanted to charge a client and create an invoice right after the appointment. The easiest way to do this is from your calendar in the client's billing page. I'll show you how to do both. To create an invoice from the calendar, head to your calendar and click the correct appointment. All you have to do is click the add payment button with the amount the client paid. They can pay for this appointment or they can pay the entire balance. Once you do that, the payment will be applied and the invoice will be marked as paid. To create an invoice from the client's billing page, go to the client's page and then navigate to the billing tab. I've added another appointment to show you how easy it is to create an invoice or add the payment right from the sidebar. You can filter the date here to pick the appointments you'd like to create the invoice for, or you can just press this uninvoice button and it will create an invoice for all appointments that have no invoices. If you create an invoice yourself, Simple Practice will know not to create one overnight. Keep in mind, Invoices will not be marked as paid unless they are paid in full. And if you do have multiple invoices that are unpaid and you add a payment, that payment will be used to cover the oldest invoice that it can cover in full. For example, let's say I go to my client and they have two appointments that are not yet paid and I enter in a payment here. That payment will be applied to the older invoice and that's the one that's gonna be marked as paid. If you'd like to apply the payment to a specific invoice, just click the invoice and the add payment button, or you can apply the payment from the calendar following the steps I went over earlier. Now, if you need to manually send a billing document to a client, all you have to do is press the envelope button here. It will send that document to the client via email right then and there. Thank you for watching. 
Be sure to check out the rest of our videos to learn more about the many other features of Simple Practice.